So mark a four and win in the end. Give your assessment of that performance. Well, we've been better. We've, we've played better than that this season, but I think sometimes you underestimate how much the competition almost takes out of the boys. Not so much the stadium and the, the, a few people watching, because they've done that, um, but they build this one up quite a bit. Look, Beaconsfield aren't a bad side. Um, we didn't play like us tonight enough, but we've done, we've done what we needed to do. You know, we've said all week, if we want to go on a run in the competition, you've got to start by winning game one. And we've lost a few of those games before. So in the end, it seems comfortable. There were some moments where it wasn't. Uh, I thought they played well. I thought we were a little bit off it and uh, a little extra touch here and there, a little bit, a few, few poor decisions with the ball. But overall, we've got to be happy with the outcome. I guess looking at the, the recent form, the manner in which you started and how quickly you got out of the blocks was unsurprising to you, but that obviously set the precedent for the game, really. Yeah, they, I mean, they gave us a goal, didn't they, early on? They gave us the first goal and the second goal, I thought it was an excellent finish from Matt, really good ball in from Harry Lee. Uh, Matty Foy put it away really well, back post with, it, with his left foot, and um, that put us in a real strong position. And then we go in at half-time, and I thought we started the second half exactly how we wanted to. We changed one or two things. We got tried to make the boys just relax a little bit and, and play and I thought we came out and passed the ball really well for four minutes and then our goalkeeper's thrown one in for them and it's 2-1 and the game's on again. Uh, ben Warman scored a great goal to put us 3-1 up and then once Nolsey gets the fourth we're sort of you know, pretty safe from there on and, and when we were good, we were good. We, we passed the ball well and we looked like we were a real threat. We got our fullbacks out a little bit more in the second half and that helped us but there were too many giveaways and turnovers of possession and a bit too eager to win it and a touch too much at times, things like that. So, so really small things, but I think we need to get better in those in those areas. And the boys have been performing really well recently in those league games. So it's great to learn them lessons from being in round two and waiting for the draw. I if you touched upon the disappointment of the way in which you conceded the goal, but you, you must be very pleased in the way you responded. Like you say, Ben Warman's strike was a, an excellent effort and, and the perfect way to respond, really. Yeah, this is a good group. There's a strong group of players there and, and the boys are real together and, and they're... I think mentally they're quite a tough group. Um, there were moments tonight where, and, and maybe overall tonight, they haven't shown that. But that's part of the development experience. You know, we want to learn that from a winning position, so we're happy with that. But we know that we can do a little bit better than we've done. It, it, obviously, before the game, the, the typical cliche, the banana skin, was obviously mentioned quite a few times. I guess this evening's result was was more than anything purely about the result and just getting into that next round. Of course, it is. We want to, we want to play in lots of big games in front of as many people as possible so that's the that's the closest you can get to the first team for these lads and you know there'll be a few upsets I think in this competition in this round because there always are uh, we're not one of them tonight so we go on to the next one I think it shows the standards that we've set in this group are, are high because it didn't look like a team that had won 4-1 at the end in the dressing room um, and we've had to try and you know make them believe in themselves again because they're a bit disappointed with things overall but we're really happy with the outcome overall and just finally in terms of the second round draw what are you hoping for from that yeah, I mean, you, you don't hope for too much. I mean, you want to. It's, it's like the first team every time you play. You want to go and play against the biggest teams you can. Um, we'd love to go another round or another two rounds or another three rounds. So we want something that we can achieve a victory in. But we know that whatever comes, we'll make the most of it and, and have a real good goal.